even bother using the front door anymore. Oh, um, well, the driver actually dropped all my bags at the front door so that your housekeeper could carry them all up. Carry them? Yeah, to my room, of course. You know, I'm really thinking I want that room that is the east facing that overlooks Mother Quartermain's beautiful rose garden. I don't like the sound of this. Oh, well, that's not very welcoming considering I am moving in. Well, try this for welcoming. Over my dead body. Well, if you don't like it, I suggest you take it up with our sister-in-law. Michael. Tracy, I really don't have the time. I'm sorry. For what? What are you talking about? You haven't heard? I won. More aptly put, AJ lost. I thought AJ was going to convince Lucy to side with him. AJ exaggerates. I'm sure he said that ELQ was in the bag, but unfortunately the bag had a big fat hole in it. What did you give her? Thank you, pardon? You had to have done something to win her over. What did you do? Uh, Michael, the important thing is that Lucy broke the tie, and I remain in control of my father's company, and your father gets nowhere near it. First of all, do not refer to Tracy as your sister-in-law. Which she was. Two seconds. Okay, fine. My... Your sister-in-law won me over fair and square. How? Well, she's letting me live here. She invited me, and she appointed me CEO. Co-CEO. Get what I'm doing? Oh CEO. Co-CEO. No. No, I don't. I don't get this. I don't get this at all. Okay, I'll explain it to you. I am helping to run EOQ alongside Tracy. Isn't it fabulous? Oh, my God. AJ's going to be devastated. Oh, poo. There are plenty of other jobs out there. I like this one. AJ wasn't just planning for his future. He was planning for Michael's. There you have it. I am sorry. Yeah, you seem like it. We should really get back to Trey. Trey Mitchell? Joe's son? What's wrong with him? He was in a bad wreck on New Year's Eve. Yeah, we all were. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and Trey, is he all right? Did he break a bone or something? No, it's a lot worse than that. How much worse? Is he going to be all right? No, he isn't. Trey's going to die as soon as his mother takes him off life support. You give AJ ELQ, and I will guarantee you that room right overlooking the Rose Garden. Well, thank you. That's very gracious, except for the fact that I already have that room overlooking the Rose Garden, and now I would just like to settle in. You'll be out of my house by the time I get back. <sighs> very rude. Very, very rude. Trey's gonna die? Yeah. Wait, I, I didn't know that you were close with Trey. I, I wasn't. I was with him. When his father passed, it was, uh... It was terrible. I tried to let him know that despite everything, his father really loved him. I think that Trey knew that. I hope so. I'm very sorry for your loss. And I am very sorry for going on about ELQ. I didn't know. It's, it's okay. Well, uh, please accept my condolences. That was weird. Yeah. Tracy can surprise you. She's usually pretty awful, especially to her family, but then she can turn around and be somewhat decent. Are you bummed about the AJ thing? I don't know. There's a silver lining. At least my mom won't feel obligated to rescue me from ELQ anymore. I know, but aren't you excited to work with your dad? It doesn't really matter to me, but it's different for AJ. I mean, running ELQ was a big deal for him. A chance for him to finally prove himself. Now what is he going to do? I would do just about anything to see my son. But throwing in with Manny is not an option. Oh, I look at you. Oh, I think you have grown inches since I've seen you. It's possible. This little guy eats like nobody's business, don't Oh, you? he looks absolutely gorgeous. Don't you, handsome fellow? You've obviously been taking very good care of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Listen, I'm gonna give you two some time. Actually, I was, oh, I was okay. hoping maybe you could stay and help me tell Monica what happened in Switzerland. Is this about Jason? Are you right? Is he still alive? 
I'm so sorry. So they have uh, recovered his body. No. No, they haven't. But they're they're going to, right? Even if they don't, Monica, I have to accept that my husband is dead. Well, I see you've made yourself at home. I am attempting to, but Monica is making it a little bit difficult. Don't worry about Monica. She's all bluster. I will uh, see that she alters her attitude. Thank you. That's excellent. Is there anything else you need? Oh, well, now that you've asked, all this bickering and moving and bickering has left me rather famished. I would kill for some of Cook's salmon florentine. Cook's gone. Cook's gone? You mean Cook quit? No. Cook died. Oh, well, that's horrible. Well, I guess that salmon isn't going to cook itself now, is it? What? Me? No. Oh, I don't cook. Come on, please. Think of it as a little tribute to cook your faithful, long-lost servant. Oh, 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 Tracy. Yes. Uh, listen, um, remember this about fish. If you overcook it, then that poor, dear creature died for nothing. Faison swore that's the last he saw of him. Sinking to the bottom of the harbor. I'm sorry. What a monster. Treating my son like a piece of garbage. How does Faison get to stay breathing while Jason... I know it's, it's so wrong. For what it's worth, they tell me Faison will spend the rest of his miserable life in prison. Good. If you need me, I'll be over here. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, sh I should have handled this better. I told you some other way. No, listen, Sam. No, I. I knew. I knew that that Jason was gone. You just didn't want to believe it. Well, the fact that you thought that maybe he was all right that, that kind of gave me a sliver of hope. And that's just been taken away for you too. The thought of letting go. You know, I remember, I remember that last morning with you and Danny and Jason. Jason was just watching you and he was smiling. I loved him so much, more than anything. And he loved you the same way. You have to hang on to that. That smells wonderful. It doesn't, doesn't really smell like salmon. Uh, no salmon. I just defrosted the first thing I could find. Well, thank you. It looks absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. <sighs> wow. And you said you couldn't cook. Oh, I'm really glad you like it. Oh, I do. This is like five-star cuisine. Oh, would you like some of my mother's relish? It goes with everything. I love that pickled Lila. Thank you. That is the last jar of my mother's famous condiment. My father mm. left it to me in his will. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 This I recognize. I love that relish. But you know, I don't I don't really recognize that flavor. What did you say it was? Uh duck something. Did you did you say duck? Yes. <laughs> You, you, I didn't think you were a vegetarian. You said you ate fish. I'm not a vegetarian. How could you serve me? Duck when you know about my beloved Sigmund. Are you going to have a memorial? I am. I was hoping you could help me with that. Oh, I'd love to. I Good. I, um, I've already picked out some music that I know Jason loves, and so did I. And I went through some... Some pictures of me when they met many. Oh, you could pick out some with Jason. You like. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Laying him to rest. It's good for you. It's good for him. And I know that he would want you to find peace. The kind of peace would be able to have you start living your life again. Yeah. Is that is that what you did with Alan? 
have my my days with Alan, but I get through them, and you will too. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank oh. you for being here. This is between me and you and your family. Find a way to work through this and move on. I love you. I love you too. Where are you going? Did you not hear what I said? I'm completely famished, and so I need to find myself a decent meal. Lucy, please don't let this jeopardize our new relationship at CLQ. Hmm. We shall see. Mother, you have to help me. Where's Lucy? She's gone. Really? Well, this is something to smile about. So you told the bottom feeder that she had to find lodgings elsewhere. Not in so many words. How many words? None. So she still thinks she's staying? I guess so, Monica. Please don't ruin this for me. If you see her in the morning dressed in tacky lingerie, grin and bear it like the rest of us.